Welcome to the world of Dwarven Forge. I'm Nate, your guide in figuring out where to start your terrain collection. Here at Dwarven Forge, we're proud of the massive array of meticulously sculpted pieces that we've created. But it can be daunting to try and make sense of everything that we offer. So in this video, we're gonna narrow down what sets are right for you. First, you don't need to build the entire world. Just pick a few key locations from your homebrew campaign or your published module that you wanna make really memorable. Focus on combat encounters because adding terrain makes battles more dynamic and cinematic. Next, pick a terrain category that'll best suit those chosen encounters. It'll most likely be dungeons or caverns because those are the most universal. But let's look at all your options. Beyond just dungeons, our dungeon line is fantastic for building temples, crypts, prisons, or other stone structures. What we have here is a three-room encounter built with our vaulted dungeons, but it's also available in plain classic stone and snake-themed forsaken temple. Our caverns line is for building a variety of subterranean encounters, from caves and tunnels to chasms and underground lakes, and it also comes in ice, Underdoom, and Hellscape. Our cities line builds everything from this quaint little tavern to a sprawling metropolis made up of stone buildings and Tudor houses. We've got roofs to top it all off, streets to pave everything in between, and sewers to dwell underneath. Our castles collection is designed to let you build anything from full-fledged castles to standalone keeps and towers or any sort of fortifications like town walls or gates. Our expansive wilderness collection contains a variety of natural biomes. Here we have our mountains collection. These are perfect for building sheer cliffs, barren wastelands, rocky sea coasts, and even dry caverns. We also have our forest collection with modular trees and deadly plants. Our swamps, perfect for murky negative space builds and water features and our twisting earth burrows for labyrinthian close quarters combat. Now that you've chosen your terrain category, you can start browsing our sets. The best place to start is our core sets. These sets are toolboxes full of all the cool pieces you need to create a huge variety of builds. Most people grow their terrain collection over time, often alongside their campaign. You start with a few core sets, gradually add some expansion sets for more building options and accessory sets for details and dressing. We also offer large bundles like our pre-built encounters for those who want to get everything all at once. But no matter what sets you get, everything's modular so it all works together, just giving you more creative possibilities. Finally, if you want to cover large outdoor areas, one approach is freestanding scatter terrain on top of a surface layer like this. It's used a lot for wargaming, skirmish battles, and random encounters. Our scatter terrain looks great on any existing battle map, but it's truly at home on our surface layers like our terrain trays. This is a two foot by two foot scatter build uh, using four of our forest terrain trays, but you could build this on any battle map. This scatter build is a two foot by one foot build on top of two of our water terrain trays for some negative space water hazard. So this burned out village is a perfect example of a two foot by two foot scatter build that would be great for a skirmish battle or for an RPG encounter. And that's everything you need to know to start browsing our web store for your first Dwarven Forge sets. Be sure to take advantage of the filter system to help refine your search. All of the relevant links from this video are in the description below. And for more information, be sure to check out our new to Dwarven Forge playlist. If you want advice or ideas, join the community on our Discord or forums. Thanks so much for watching, and now it's back to the anvil.